Well, this uh, literary festival idea started a few years ago, and we turned it into not a literary festival, a festival of people talking about art, makers, uh, buyers, sellers, dealers, conservators, anything to do with art at all, and we extend that to include horticulture. So, so it really to listen to people talking about their aspect of all different sorts of art, old and new. I'm Sharon Reynolds and I'm the festival director of the Chatsworth Festival Art Out Loud 2016. Art Out Loud is now in its second edition. It's a festival of talks with a difference. All the speakers are talking about art, whether they're artists, collectors, curators or writers. The common thread is that they know their stuff when it comes to art. I'm looking forward to seeing Dan Pearson, who is the garden designer, and I think his talk will be really, really interesting. I'm really excited this weekend about Edmund Duval coming to Art Out Loud. He is something of a genius in his field of pottery, but also in writing. Going between the potters and the kilns, the pots waving and wobbling as he went. But this is the city, the DNA of the city is people making. Roy Strong is going to be amazing. He's always fun and he should ruffle a few feathers, I'm quite sure, but I reckon Nick Cullinan will keep him under control. Maggie Hamling is also making a fairly rare appearance and she's got an exhibition on at the British Museum at the moment of some of her drawings throughout her life. Julia Payton Jones spent 25 years at the Serpentine Galleries transforming it into one of London's most spectacular events for art. The Build Your Own Pavilion workshops going on at the Stickyard, Chatsworth's own education centre. The Serpentine Galleries have been terrific with their support for that. One of the Art Out Loud children might even win first prize. We've got Martin Brown, who's the Horrible Histories illustrator and I think that's going to be a load of fun for families. This time of year we have Beyond Limits, which is a monumental outdoor sculpture organised by Sotheby's. 19 amazing pieces of sculpture in the garden. So there's a lot happening here, yes, it's not just about the speakers. 